Thanks for joining me. Today we'll be painting the Mighty Mac, the Mackinac Bridge. All you need today are six basic colors. We need bright red, bright yellow, black, white, um, nutmeg brown, and true navy. Um, any variety of those colors will work. Those are just the shades that I chose to use. Um, for brushes, we need, for our background, one and a half, two inch flat brush. For our clouds, I like to use a stiff bristled um, a hog hair brush and or a one inch chip brush. You can use either or of those today. Um, for filling in the bridge, I like to use just a flat brush, a mid-sized flat brush, not the, not the big one we did the background with, but a smaller one, and some detail brushes. Got a whole variety here. It's nice to have a variety, but you could do the whole thing with one if you needed to. That's all you had. Um, and for the water lines, you can use the detail brushes for that, or you can use a small flat brush or a chisel tip brush. It just goes a lot faster with a flat brush for me. But that's all you really need. If you want to have some willow charcoal to sketch with, it's really nice to have that because if you make any mistakes, you can just wipe it off and go on your way. So that's all you really need to paint today, and I really hope you enjoy. Let's get started on our Mackinac Bridge. To begin, we're going to do our sunset. And for that, we're going to need our one, one and a half inch flat brush, and we're going to need some sunset colors. So on your plate, you're going to want to put some red, some yellow, some white, and we're also going to want some blue, because we will be putting some blue on the top and bottom of the canvas. A little blue in there. So, yellow, white, red, and blue. We're going to start in the middle of our canvas. What we're going to do is we're going to start with our lightest colors in the middle, and we're going to work our way out and across. So we'll do yellow and white first, just a nice pale yellow. We're going to start right over here. I'm just going to brush this over. And we're going to try to make our our sunset mirror image because we're going to have water down here and sky up here and we'll have that those colors reflecting. Now if you want to go into just some straight white and brighten this up a little bit, you can do that. That's what I'm doing. Want that nice and bright right here. You can bring that over a quarter to a third of the way over. It's just kind of a triangle shape. But I've feathered the edges a little bit. It's not a, it's not a hard edge. Now I'm going to add just a little touch of red into that color. It's going to make kind of a, a coral color. You can add a little more yellow and white to it kind of a pretty coral color. We're going to add that right 
to the outsides here. I'm going to blend that right into that yellow, right at the border. Don't, don't blend it too far down because you don't want to lose all of that yellow because this will quickly overpower that color if you're not careful. Just a little more of that mixed up here for the bottom. If the colors don't match exactly, that's quite all right. We're just looking for a generalized. Make these blend in right there. Okay. All right, get a nice pretty sunset right here. Now as we work our way up. If you want to tend more to a, to a pink sunset, you can put more of the red and whites in. If you're looking more for a vibrant orange color, you can put more of the yellow and red. I think we're going to go go a little bit more for the pink, I think, here. Pink colors. Just a little bit. If you want to go purple, you can put just a touch of blue in. I'm just doing red and white here. Maybe just a touch of yellow. I like that coral. We're just trying to make it a little bit darker. Okay, let's try that out. See if that's. Oh yeah, perfect. I'm just going to bring that down too. Again, we're just kind of gently blending it with the previous color. I'm not trying to overpower it. We're just blending right into the border there. I'm bringing it out a little bit. And then the same thing on the underside. Make sure you don't leave any white specks between the two, or between the bordering colors. Make sure they meet completely and blend nicely. You can bring this color all the way across. If you want to add any extra color right in here, maybe put a little bit, maybe a little bit more of the orange color. It's more of the red and yellow, just a touch of white. Put some of this in here. Oh yeah, I like that. I'll just put a touch of that over here. This is not going to reach all the way across. I'm just going to bring this in from this side, just for a little bit of interest here. Just gently blend that, this color here. We don't want a lot of hard lines. Just blending these colors so we got nice soft edges. Put some of that down here now. Soften the edges of this. All right, now we're going to have some blue. So we're going to want to wash our brush because we don't want all of that yellow to be mixing in with the blue because you will get 
You can get kind of a green color out of it. And we're going to wash our brush out and squeeze out the excess water. And we're going to go into, we're going to make a pale blue. So we've already got the blue on our plate or palette. I'm just going to put a little bit, of, a little dab of blue over into the white. Make a nice pale blue. And remember that acrylic paint dries darker than it goes on, so make sure it's really nice and light. And we're just going to put a strip of this in here. We're going to be very careful blending it with this orange color right here. You can bring it right to it and blend it a little bit with it, but don't get too crazy getting right down in it because we don't really want a green border. I'm going to keep it, keep it separated. you got to keep them separated. And then a little bit. And I'm going to add just a little bit more blue to this. I'm going to darken it just a little bit as I move up. Not a lot, just a little bit. See? Oops, there's some yellow still in there. Didn't wash my brush good enough, I guess. Bring that right to the border there. I'm just going to tap a little bit into straight white. Put some white in there, so lighten that up even a little bit more. And we're going to do that for the bottom, too. Okay, just mirroring whatever we do up top, do down below. Again, being careful at this border. Blending that border. I don't know if blending is really the right word. I'm just putting a soft edge there. I'm trying not to mix it. go just a shade darker blue even. Or if you wanted to go purple, you could do a purple. All you do for that is add a little touch of red into the blue and white mixture. But I'm just going to go a little bit darker blue right here. I'm just going to fill in this whole top part and soften. Make sure it's nice soft edges wherever it blends with the other colors. And if you want it even darker, you can go into just some straight blue and darken that up a little bit. Just make this really colorful. Or if you prefer, if you decide that you would rather this whole sky be sunset colors and oranges and pinks and yellows and just omit the blue and just keep going with, you know, more oranges and coral colors. You don't have to put the blue in. Make 
make sure you get all the way to the outside edges of your canvas too. You don't want to you don't want to finish your painting and realize you've left, you know, white spots on the edges. And you got to go back and fill those in. That's no fun. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new classes.